Aigo combination, I hear that that is C trial. I already did this move a few years back in the semi-finals of the new Europeans as well. It's one of my favorite combinations. So for the people that uh, already saw my uh, guillotine revolution instructional, it's on there as well. Uh, but I wanted to give a little breakdown of both the competition footage um, and just give you guys some tips to get this move uh, going, both in training and in competition. So the idea is we're in close guard. One of my favorite attacks from here is just a, a standard green close. So we get up a little bit. If the person on top drives into us, we lock arm and give it That's important. We need the arm in for this, uh, for this move to work. So we go for the arm in. It's a little bit hard to finish. Um, again, um, I'll put a link up in one of these corners. Uh, for some tips on the arm and guillotine, uh, it's also my instructional, but um, this is uh, the combination that works. It doesn't work if you just do the hand, you need the arm in. So we use our arm and guillotine, we fall to the side, here we put some pressure. Let's get around with it. Pressure on the guillotine. Now Mikey can alleviate by coming forward, but also by pulling my arm down. So he's gonna use that arm to actually pull my arm down. If he just pushes, I can still finish. But if he gets a grip under my arm, uh, on the pin. There. Now we can get a strong pull going. And if Mikey, like if, if there's no real threat of the guillotine, this won't work. So I can pull a little bit, Mikey can pull back, there's nothing really happening. But if I put actual thread on the guillotine, he needs to pull in a strong way. In a, uh, pulling in a strong way means that your elbow goes to your hip. Whatever strong motion you do, your elbow is close to your hip. Whenever you're in a bad position in jiu-jitsu, elbows to the hip, you can stay safe, it's hard for your opponent to separate your arms. Uh, when you go to the gym, every strong move is with your elbows close to your hip. Think about a bicep curl, if you want to do it with a lot of weight, you don't do it out here, you do it close to your hip. So Mike is going to pull on the forearm, and I pull hard, so Mike needs to pull hard, look how his elbow goes to his hip. Now it's easy to flick my leg over, let go of the head, and I can lock a triangle. From here, your opponent is pressuring in a little bit, so you need to fix that by either walking backwards or pushing your opponent away. From there you can finish the triangle in the competition. Um, at the No Europeans, I had an armbar from here. In, um, in Poland at the ATCC trials, I finished a, a standard, uh, standard triangle from there. So again, that concept, when you're going for this guillotine, you need to pull hard. Your opponent needs to pull hard back as well. So if your guillotine is not tight enough, it's not strong enough, they can defend by pushing a little bit, by getting like weak, weak motions. But if your guillotine is very dangerous, they need to defend in a strong way. If you're not strong here, you're strong here when you pull towards your hip. Um, like all the beginners know, bad positions, you keep your elbows close. When you need to put power into a move, you get your elbows close. So here, by putting his elbow close, he's getting into that triangle choke. Let's do that again. You sit up for our main guillotine, we lock it. Now, Mikey needs to defend strongly if I put my guillotine on strongly. So if my guillotine is relatively weak, he doesn't need to defend. But if I pull on the guillotine tightly, he needs to defend by bringing his elbow to his hip. I lock my legs over, let go of the head. And from here, we adjust our triangle in the way we like to do. So, two big concepts for this uh, for this move. Elbow to your hip means that you're strong, but you're also vulnerable for the uh, for the for the triangle, and you need to really sell your your setups. So you can't fake a guillotine. You have to go for an actual strong guillotine. Your opponent needs to do an actual defense, and then you can go to the triangle. So don't go for like a fake guillotine, hoping that you can go to the triangle. Now there needs to be an actual threat of getting choked through the guillotine. Then they will defend with the triangle. Let's take a look at uh, some of the competition footage. Alright, the first fight we're going to take a look at is the semi-finals of the No Europeans a few years back. And here you see I have a normal guillotine, uh, so it's not even arm in, like I said in the video. Uh, the guy pulls strongly, you can see his elbow is very close to his hip. From there it's easy to throw your legs over the shoulder and to lock your triangle. You put some stacking pressure. Um, and uh, This is actually the first time I, I thought of this move, I think. Uh, so it took me a while to let go of the guillotine and to switch into a triangle. As the opponent extends, uh, I get the armbar. Let's take a look at that again. So, sitting up in the close guard, he gives his neck, I get a basic old school guillotine, immediately throwing my legs over the hands. Here. I keep holding on to the guillotine. Um, if I would do this again, I would probably already have let go of the guillotine and uh, work completely towards the triangle. Opponent still trying to stack through there. Now I let go. Now he tries to pull out, extending his arm, giving me that arm look from the from the triangle. All right, next one we're gonna look at. This is uh, a lot more recent. So this was at the ADCC trials this year. Again, I go for the, the guillotine from close guard, and my opponent puts uh, some good pressure on me. So he puts his right shoulder down on my uh, on my chest. It's hard for me to get an angle. Hard for me to break his posture. His uh, spine is quite straight. 
quite hard for me to get the guillotine. You can see his elbow is still quite open because he's alleviating a lot of pressure with his body positioning. He doesn't need as much pull with his hands. I keep the squeeze going. Uh, this guillotine was a little bit on the jaw, on the, on the mouth as well, so it was hard to get actual choking pressure. But we never give up. Look how he's posting on the elbow, which is not alleviating a lot. And now I think he's gonna switch to a stronger grip. There we go, now you see the elbow is getting closer to his hip. And this I think is the moment where I will throw my legs over. There we go. Yeah, so I keep pulling the guillotine, the opponent needs to alleviate with more pulling power. Elbow goes close to the hip, there we can lock the triangle. So ADCC you can slam out of submissions. Um, this wasn't too hard of a slam, I, I kept my back nice and rounded. And from here I connect to the leg so it's harder for, you, for him to lift me up. So I'll, I'll fast forward a little bit, this, uh, this goes on for a while. He alleviates the triangle quite well by opening his shoulder, uh, getting his weight to the side of, uh, of the elbow. So hard to finish, but a uh, super important concept when you're doing triangles is just to be patient. You lock your triangle, Put in your mind that he's not gonna get out and take your time to, to find a finish. You can work the arms, you can work the wrist, uh, shoulder locks, you can, you can keep choking. Um, again, I hold the leg to avoid uh, a lot of amplitude in the slam. The slams are getting weaker as well. Uh, it takes a lot of energy uh, out of you when you're stuck in a triangle. So just take your time and there um, I get the classic finish by just pulling the head with two hands and, uh, and getting the tap. Right guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of content. Uh, leave a comment, leave a like. And see you guys in the next video.